Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for tutorials on VLAN. So I've decided to create this one to just give you a basic idea about how VLANs work. So what is a VLAN? A VLAN is a group of devices on one or more LAN that are configured to communicate as if they were attached to the same wire, when in fact they are located on a number of different LAN segments. So we look at this diagram, we are seeing where there are two computers attached to switch 1 and two other computers attached to switch 2. And both of these switches are connected to a router. But all these computers are acting as if they are connected to the same switch. So these computers are currently in VLAN 15. This is just um, just, a, just a number. This number, this VLAN number doesn't really mean anything at this point. So this is how the network works. They are on the network physically, but they are in a group, what they call a VLAN, logically. So how VLANs works. So we have this switch here and there are three computers attached to it. Uh, but these computers that are attached to the same switch are on different VLAN. So we have a VLAN for guest. And all of these computers are in the guest VLAN, which is VLAN 20. And they are on the 192.168.20.0 network and uh, if you look at this you realize that all these computers are attached to the different switches so that is how vlan work you're able to segment your network in different um, parts for easy management and also for security reasons and uh, we also have vlan for admin which is on a different vlan which is vlan 50 and another vlan for clients and in order for these computers to speak to each other, so say for instance, the computers that were on VLAN that were attached to switch one, in order for all these computers to speak to each other or transmit data to each other, what, what would happen is that they would have to send that information to the router and the router now decides which VLAN these computers are in and then send that information to the VLAN that, um, that the client is in. So say for instance um, a client is in VLAN 20 and say you have configured where v clients in VLAN 20 is able to um, communicate with clients in VLAN 100 they won't be able to just communicate as is. They would have to go through the router and then come back to the, to, through the switch to communicate. Alright, so VLAN tagging. So this is one of the terms that you may, may have heard of. And typically what it is, it is really when a packet goes through the network, a particular tag is attached to that packet to tell it which VLAN that packet is, is in. So in this animation you see where the packet goes through a VLAN and then when that packet comes out of the VLAN it is now um, there's a tag of the VLAN ID that is attached to it. So packet traversing the network goes through the VLAN and then comes out with the VLAN tag based on that VLAN that it that it has passed through. Um, VLAN trunking which is the 802.1Q um, standard. And what that is, it's the ability for an Ethernet switch and or a router to be able to pass traffic for multiple VLAN over a single port. So we have Ethernet 1 and we have VLAN 100, VLAN 20 and VLAN 60 that is passing over Ethernet 1. Also, other traffic is able to pass over that Ethernet port. So regular traffic that is not um, in any VLAN 
will also be able to travel over that port. And the same thing exists for the other VLANs. So you can actually select your ports and choose which VLAN you want to pass over or pass through that Ethernet port. So that is how VLAN trunking work. Then we have um, access port VLAN or what they call port based VLAN. What it is, it is assigning an Ethernet port to be in a VLAN only so the port so the port is in the vlan so unlike um before where we had multiple vlans on a port this access port base vlan is that the vlan is is the port is in that vlan only so the only traffic that will pass through say for ethernet one the only traffic that will pass through this port is only VLAN 1. No other traffic can pass through this port. And also for Ethernet 3, only VLAN 20 traffic can pass through this port. And same goes for Ethernet 6, where only VLAN 60 traffic can pass through, through this port. So it is, so this is what we call port based VLAN. So that's the flexibility with VLAN is that you'll be able to use this in a variety of ways based on your network design and also based on what you want to achieve. So we have come to the end of this tutorial. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and also share this video with your friends and persons who may be interested in, in these type of tutorials. And that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.